हेलो स्टूडेंट लास्ट क्लास आई डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द इंटर मॉडर्न डिस्कशन फर्स्ट आई डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द डिस्कशन व्हाट इज द डिस्कशन एंड देन फॉलोड बाय द इंटर मॉडर्न डिस्कशन राइट सो इंटर मॉडर्न डिस्कशन दैट डिस्कशन दैट मेनली पल्स बॉडीनिंग इन द ऑप्टिकल फाइबर पल्स बॉडीनिंग ऑफ द ऑप्टिकल सिग्नल इनसाइड द ऑप्टिकल फाइबर राइट सो दैट डिस्कशन दैट कैन बी डिवाइडेड इनटू टू पार्ट्स वन इज द इंट्रा एंड अदर इज द इंटर मॉडर्न डिस्कशन सो इंटर मॉडर्न डिस्कशन uh this i have discussed in the last class so when there are different different wavelength light are propagating in different different time through the multi mode fiber due to that the we can get the pulse broadening of the input signal inside the multi mode fiber okay so now come to the intermodal discussion intra which is not related to inter or the multiple uh, signals the inter intermodal that can be also defined as a chromatic dispersion normally it used to happen inside the single mode fiber in single mode fiber there is no concept of the the multi mode signal propagating propagation right so how the dispersion can take place inside the uh, single mode fiber if the multi if only, only the single ray is propagating so that the single if single ray is propagated that there should not be any dispersion but still inside the single mode fiber there will be a dispersion So, uh, this dispersion can be uh, defined as a two term one is a material dispersion one is a uh, wave gate dispersion normally this kind of the intermodal dis dispersion that depends on the wavelength lambda uh, and uh, due to the if uh, if, uh, if some optical signals uh, which has the narrow wavelength suppose 400 to 450 nanometer wavelength so uh, the variation of the wavelength is less here uh, right the spray, if you plot the suppose the wavelength versus intensity graph so the this will be the narrow pulse wave if you have the 500 to 700 nanometer optical signal which has the wide pulse wave if the narrow pulse wave signal is propagating through the optical fiber then there will be a less intermodal dispersion okay so that i'll tell why there will be a less intermodal dispersion so the dispersion that can be divided into two parts one is the material and another is the wave gate dispersion so now come to the uh, material dispersion so here in this diagram you can see in this diagram so the from the emitter or the source the uh, signal is uh, in, uh, in, uh, coupling into the fiber so this uh, signal has the multiple wavelengths of lambda 1 uh, to lambda 2 you can see the plot if you see the plot of the intensity versus wavelength graph the lambda 1 to lambda 2 and so from the lambda 1 to lambda 2 you can see the multiple lambda sub there right so the optical signal which uh, has a multiple wavelength so different different wavelength the signal can propagate in a different different time because the wavelength that is uh, the velocity of the signal which depends on the wavelength that will uh, change that will vary with respect to different wavelength because the due to the wavelength dependent reflecting index okay the reflecting index that is also depend uh, they depending on the wavelength and the velocity is also depending on the wavelength so due to that the different uh, signal which has the different wavelength cannot reach uh, the other side of the fiber at the same time you are sending only single signal right but in, in, inside the signal signal you have the multiple wavelength and due to that the each wavelength the uh, uh, signals cannot propagate uh, through the uh, medium at the same time the different different time it will reach and they are have there will there will have the different phase velocity uh, group velocity okay so the uh, the ultimately the wave uh, that will not uh, come at uh, the other side of the fiber at the same time at different different time the uh, different wavelength they will come at the same uh, at the other end so due to that there will be a pulse broadening you can see uh, this is the idea but you are getting a this one for the brush spreading of the signal right how much spread is has been done the tau spread is uh, done inside the material dispersion so how can we characterize the material dispersion if we want to calculate the how, how much uh, uh, this distortion or dispersion has been uh, taken place uh, had been taken place inside the material dispersion this we can calculate using the some formula right now come to the derivation now. i think it is clear so the normal material dispersion that used to happen due to the different phase velocity uh, group velocity as the wavelength is depend the reflecting index depending on the wavelength various wavelength the various reflecting index there so when the the signal is propagates through the optical fiber due to the various uh, wavelength dependent reflecting index uh, the say each point they will have the different different group velocity due to that you will get the pulse broadening how can you minimize the pulse broadening if you use the that a narrow wavelength signal okay which has the say suppose uh, 
wavelengths range from 500 to 520 nanometers. So, this is a very, na very narrow wavelength. Okay, very narrow. This is the 500 and the 520 nanometer. Okay, so if you replace the, your source with the narrow wavelength source, then you can minimize the intramodal dispersion or if, if you use the higher wavelength source, suppose the uh, 1000 nanometer, 1000, uh, 1500 nanometer, then you will get the less dispersion. That's why another that nowadays normal institute is using the lower wavelength of visible light communication is related to infrared light communication nowadays. So here you can see that there are the two types of source that I will discuss in the upcoming lecture. So one is the laser and another is the LED. So laser that has the narrow pulse width, uh, you can see this is the narrow pulse width and the over wide uh, LED is the uh, wider pulse width. So if we use the laser as a source, so if the, this, if the signal coming from the laser, if that signal is proper, used to propagate from the optical fiber, you will get the less material dispersion. Now, uh, so this the uh, param this parameter I already discussed how to get this one is the, the pulse delay. Okay, uh, the pulse delay and this is the pulse shape of, uh, spreading or broadening of the pulse uh, due to the material dispersion per wavelength. Right, and so total pulse were broadened happen inside the wave gate due to the material dispersion so that uh, can be calculated as a uh, that the modal delay, the total modal time delay difference per unit wavelength and if you multiply with this is the wavelength. Okay, so here you will get the total uh, spreading uh, with respect to the wavelength. Right, so that uh, tau material that I have already discussed, the delay type is equal to, uh, the delay type is equal to L by group velocity. Okay, so group velocity, you can replace the group velocity value with the d omega by d beta, you will get this one, L into d beta by d omega. Now, in case, uh, in this material dispersion, what I told that, that reflecting index that is wavelength dependent. Okay, the reflecting index that is wavelength dependent. So, instead of writing beta, beta is the propagation constant, you can write the beta as a 2 pi by lambda into n lambda. So, this beta that is replaced with the 2 pi by lambda into n lambda. Now, if you derive, derive uh, this, is, suppose this is n lambda by lambda. Okay, so if you derive this thing, okay, with respect to lambda, for what you will get? So, what we will get first, you have to derive the, in first point, I will derive the 1 by lambda with respect to lambda. So, it will be minus 1 by lambda square. Okay. And at the end, lambda will be constant. Okay. Now, in the second time, what we have to do, uh, then lambda will be fixed and it will be d and lambda by d lambda. Okay. So, Right, so on what one time you will get the minus n by lambda square, and the, then you will get the minus one by lambda d and lambda d. If you derive the n lambda with the n lambda by lambda with respect to d lambda, okay, you will get this one minus n by lambda square minus one by lambda d and lambda by d lambda. So all of you know the formula how to derive this the division a by b. This way I have derived this one. So if we replace the uh, uh, if we replace n lambda, d, d of n lambda with this value, this two value, and after substitution, we will get this one, okay, because this lambda square will be cancelled out this lambda square. If you put, instead of n, uh, d, d of n lambda, if you put this value, after substitution, you will get this one, okay, this value. Uh, then, uh, if we, uh, my ultimate aim is to calculate the total pulse broadening due to the material dispersion. So, that can be defined as a lambda. sigma g is equal to d tau mat by uh, d lambda into sigma uh, lambda. Okay. So, this is nothing but this is the d, d lambda. Okay. D lambda we have replaced with the sigma lambda. And as instead of uh, tau mat, if you put this one, again, instead of tau mat, if you put this one and if we enter equation, if you derive by the uh, lambda. Okay, so you will get this one. Okay, I'm doing here L by C constant. So if you want to derive this one, n minus lambda d n by d lambda uh, d lambda. Okay, 
so uh, this will be dn by d lambda and from this one first lambda is constant then uh, d square n by d lambda square and again then the lambda will be d that if you direct the lambda it will be 1 and then dn by d lambda okay so what will happen this this will be cancelled out only these two will be remain uh, right uh, so in this way you can uh, derive this okay this will be cancel out and which is cancel out you will get only this one so only this one you will get right so instead of uh, d uh, tau mat by d lambda uh, you will get this one right l by c it's come from here okay sigma l lambda is there and then enter uh, so it is the entire term it can be defined as a uh, d mat dispersion material okay material dispersion with respect to lambda this term enter term and the l is the uh, sorry this one the L a sigma lambda, this entire term is called defined as a dispersion. Okay, so these are uh, the, in this way you can calculate the how much pulse protein happen and what is the material dispersion, how to calculate the material dispersion or just the material dispersion. I think the derivation is clear. So the before the derivation, these things I have already discussed how the tau is related to probe velocity. Now let's come to the waveguide dispersion. So, we get dispersion that uh, mainly happened uh, uh, due to the uh, coat leading difference or uh, suppose I have already discussed the in single mode fiber there is a one pa parameter the mode field diameter okay in single mode fiber. Uh, suppose this is the coat and this is the uh, cladding okay. So, the signal some signal is propagating like this way and some signals are propagating like this way. Some, so, when uh, the signal try to uh, hit the coat leading interface. Uh, due to the reflecting index variation, due to the some imperfection, some portion of the light will be penetrated into the uh, cladding. Okay, some portion of light or some portion of the power will be penetrated into the cladding. So, uh, whatever power you should get, whatever, whatever shape of the signal you should get at the other end of the fiber, you will not get the exact shape. So, some uh, distribution in, uh, inside the uh, cladding also. So, due to that also, the, your pulse may be broadened after the the output side of the fiber okay so due to that you will get the waveguide uh, dispersion okay due to that you will get the waveguide dispersion so that the mode field diameter is uh, related with the waveguide uh, dispersion okay so why the mode field diameter happen mainly due to the, the variation of the coat leading interference and some imperfections is inside the coat leading interference so there will be a so the whatever core power power should be confined into the core uh, the light light power should be confined into the core but it should not happen so due to that the dispersion happen inside the uh, intramodal uh, dispersion or get dispersion this dispersion is called as one is related to the different signal is propagating uh, through the different different velocity as the material has a different aesthetic inside the core due to that is the material dispersion and the also dispersion that is due to the structure of the core and cladding and reflecting index of the core and cladding so an uh, entire amount of the light should not be confined into the core uh, some portion of the light will be uh, penetrated into the waveguide so that uh, related to waveguide dispersion so the normally the entire the waveguide dispersion depends on the uh, structure of the optical fiber So, we get dispersion. So, I have not explained here the entire thing. Uh, uh, normally, the we get dispersion, there's uh, the mode field diameter I told now. So, how many signals are propagating? It depends on the number of the mode, the how the signals are propagating through the fiber. So, is this is propagating like this way or it is uh, propagating like uh, this way, like that. Okay, so how the light is propagated through the fiber based on that configuration, the core power will be the light power will be penetrated into the uh, cladding. Okay, so that's it that depends on the, the mode, uh, V number as well as the fundamental mode, etc. Uh, there is a one term, this is called the propagation constant, normalized propagation constant. Uh, so, this can be directly you can write as a uh, beta square by k square minus eta square, eta, uh, nt square n1 minus nt square. So, beta is the propagation constant, k is the wave number, and n or n2, these are the characteristic index for power and plane. 
So uh, the n1 and n2 uh, distance you can consider as a very small and uh, if we n1 n2 is a very small then you can replace this thing with this one beta by k minus n2 by n1 minus n2 and uh, that uh, uh, n1 minus n2 that also uh, the, the relative reflectic index if you replace the n1 minus n2 the relative reflectic index okay then you can get a uh, this equation which is equal to uh, so from this one okay if you replace n1 minus n2 with the delta and then you can uh, substitute with b is equal to beta by k minus n2 by b, uh, n1 uh, delta this will be replaced with the delta okay then you will get this equation beta is equal to n2 k into 1 plus beta delta b delta right so again uh, the b number this we have already discussed b number is uh, equal to k into a and n1 minus n2 square by root on, root, root on that and the n1 n2 this you can also replace as a uh, this thing also you can uh, write this uh, the b number you can write as a uh, in terms of the n1 n2 b number also you can write as a in terms of the real specific index okay and then uh, here from here the b is equal to k n2 root under 2 delta from here you can substitute the value of the delta so instead of delta we can put the the substitution value inside this equation okay instead of delta if you put the such a substitution value inside this equation so that will get a modified equation right now so i think it is clear again i am telling the propagation constant the more normalized particle propagation constant can be right as a this one and the it one minus it to value is, is a constant uh, then it can replace this equation with the this one and they will know that there is a relationship between relative reflecting index and the n1 n2 if you put this formula here and if you substitute this equation you will get this one now again you know that the, like, there is a relationship between the relative reflecting index and the b number b is equal to k a and 2 root, two, root under 2 uh, delta then there is a relative reflecting index if you substitute these two equations you will get a one more uh, modified equation of beta in terms of the b wave number and then uh, again i know that tau is equal to uh, l uh, c del uh, omega by del beta okay right sorry del uh, beta by del omega del beta by del omega so instead of beta if you put the previous formula in the, uh, which we will get our in terms of the b, b, b number so if you uh, put instead of beta that you have value and if you derive this beta with respect to omega then you will get uh, uh, this equation of this question so this is the total delay time due to the wave dispersion in terms of the l by c and eta 2 and the b number as well as the normalized propagation constant okay so the numericals are not related associated with this wave dispersion only the equations are related or uh, derivation so uh, you can see here the wave dispersion can be reduced by increasing the large diameter okay uh, if we increase the large uh, diameter then what will happen uh, so here you can see if we increase the large diameter of core if we increase the core diameter then the whatever portions the lights are propagating through the core it is difficult to penetrate into the uh, cladding okay and uh, it is uh, allow the proper propagation mode okay the proper propagation mode and it will also decrease the difference between the relative reflectic index right so in this way you can reduce the oral diameter should okay so this everything should be this should be low for getting the uh, if you want to decrease this one the delta should be low relative reflecting index should be low and the core diameter should be increased okay so if the core diameter is increased whatever lights are propagating through the fiber there will not a chance to propagate the uh, to in, inside the cladding so in this way you can get the you can reduce the wave guide dispersion as well as the it should reduce the relative reflective index of the fiber so this is the uh, total pulse shape that you can del sigma uh, g is equal to g tau by d lambda into del sigma lambda so tau g uh, tau uh, omega the total uh, delay time over the wavelength uh, this we have already calculated the previous section. If you replace this uh, tau g with the, that equation, you will get a 
this modify equation. Okay, so these are normal mathematics. They are derivations of my related to mathematics only. And so that's why I'm not describing step by step. But okay, uh, so this is clear, I think.